I have been like waiting and I feel like you guys have been waiting for me to film this for like the longest time. Got my cup of tea at the ready. A few things to point out first. Number one, I've got this like new curly pony in from Lillabelle's. I'm fully aware that this is not the color of my hair. It did kind of used to be, but I forget like the last time I went to the hairdressers, we didn't go as cherry red. We steered more auburn, ready for the uh, next transformation that we're doing. So it doesn't match and I know, but I'm just, you know, mixing it up and having some fun. And if this did match, this is such a good concept. It's like pre-curled, pre-waved, love it. Anyway, um, what else is there to know? Okay, so this is gonna be the like full makeup, less chaos version. I feel like in my most recent get readies with me's, you guys have really loved the makeup, but I've always been in such a rush and I've always been referring you guys back to this previous video, which again was very chaotic. And I really love to talk through makeup. I used to work on a counter and talking through how to and like pro tips and stuff like that is something that I really love doing and I do feel like this kind of makeup routine I've got going on is like my best yet. I always receive so many compliments on my makeup and I'm not just saying it, I feel like I, I say that often in videos, but I genuinely mean it a lot from you guys as well. It looks amazing in pictures. It never lets me down and it's just the routine that I go for every time when I want my makeup to look amazing. Honestly, it's my best routine today so i feel like while i'm not rushing we've got some natural daylight because the clocks have gone back which me and my friends were saying why do i feel jet lagged from just like an hour like the clocks went no wait the clocks went forward and i feel jet lagged almost from it but yeah essentially i just wanted to do my makeup today I'm not doing really anything. I'm going downstairs to my friends for dinner later, but what I'm trying to say is I'm not in a rush. We're gonna talk through it. it these are basically like my must have products, techniques, and just like everything to achieve the, you know, flawless looking skin, glam makeup. I've li listed everything linked down below and I'm so glad I'm doing this now because some of the pro like key products that I use that are usually out of stock, are back in stock so make the most of it um as always i've left everything linked down below but yeah um, i'm gonna the main focus i really feel like is the skin but i'm gonna do like a basic classic i don't know instagram makeup like smoky eye just to complement the look nothing major there but just like some techniques on how you can achieve that with like minimal products but before we do the eyes i'm gonna give my sort of skincare a chance to soak into the skin so what i really love to do to prep my skin which i feel like is a massive part to play in just the way your makeup's gonna sit i really love to use a lightweight serum i know i work with them this isn't a sponsored video by them or anything like that um, I love L'Oreal serums. They are literally designed to go not only as skincare, but like under makeup, they work really well. I love the Revitalift. This is the hydrating smoothing serum. And I also really love the Revitalift Clinical Pure Vitamin C. And I really kind of love this one more. Not only is it hydrating, but, but because it's got vitamin C in, it's super brightening. So you want to start with obviously like clean skin. And I kind of go in with like that much. And use your fingers, use a brush. I just like to use a brush, I don't know why. Just really like to paint it all over my skin. I should really put an SPF on. But, and I would if this was like daytime makeup, but I feel like this is steered more towards going out. And if I'm going out, I don't necessarily wear SPF because the sun's not out, you know? So if this was daytime and you like a full glam in the daytime, this is when you put the, your SPF on, but I'm just gonna leave that step out and we're gonna now move on to the eyes. Okay, so what you wanna do is prime your eye. I don't normally like do my brows before. I prefer to put my brow product on after I've done my skin. You could go ahead and do your brows now. I have run like a tiny bit of clear brow gel through it just to like get the hairs out the way. But what you wanna do is now sculpt out underneath the brow and prime your eyes. And I absolutely love this. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Honey. 
And I love this little brush from Morphe. It's like the Morphe Aerial Concealer Brush. And starting here. You just want to like take it out and sculpt it down. Bring it in slightly here, but mainly just focus it like in the middle. I don't like to put too, too much on either because we are going to be going in with creams on the eye. So it, like too much cream on the eye is just going to cause creasing. And you just kind of want like a light layer to just give you a blank canvas. Because like I said, we are going to be going in with creams. Um, so we don't want them to like there to be like so many that they all like blend into each other and don't do their job correctly you know literally a very thin layer and i feel like the trick is 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 to use products that you're going to be using on your face because then it almost gives like this subconscious cohesiveness throughout so this is the cream contour that i'm going to use i do have a few favorites to be fair but this is just the one that i'm loving at the moment and this is the nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade warm caramel and this is essentially going to be like our crease color so i'm just going to like do that a few a few little dabs then take a brush kind of pack it in make sure to drag it out as well and we're going to take this all over and down the bridge of our nose well not the bridge but like the sides of our nose because that's gonna act kind of as contour as well just kind of like patting it on we're gonna be cleaning up so don't even worry about the mess that you make here it's all just kind of about like the placement so we have left the inner corner clear but we've taken it like down the sides of our nose, you know? And then again with the cohesiveness, I'm gonna take that same concealer, by the way, please ignore my hands. Just ignore them. On the same concealer brush, but this time I'm gonna use the flat end. Again, just a little bit. And I'm gonna start by looking like down and just like, patting on in the crease and like dragging down the product just so i can really get the placement precise and you just kind of want to take it like a third of the way over a third to like half like that just kind of like pat it on, pat the product in. Like so, so you've got like a, a little soft cut crease going on. You can go back in with the brush that you use to apply the concealer, just to diffuse that. Should give you this. And then with my little under eye powder brush, something like this, kind of like small fluffy vibes. Just taking my translucent powder that I plan to use on my face, tap like most of it off and just press that all over. And that's just gonna like set everything in place. Now I do find sometimes that that takes like a bit of the warmth out of it, you can see. So it's given us a good base and a bit of structure to then just go in with like a couple eyeshadows, even like face powders and bronzers, like I said. Subconsciously, you kind of want to use the same things that you're going to be using over your face so it stays really cohesive if this is the kind of eye look that you're going for. If you're doing something gold and sparkly with like pink liner, that's obviously not going on your face. So I've been actually really loving the ColourPop single shadows. I placed a massive ColourPop order not long ago. Like I feel like as a brand, they've really slept on, they have some great stuff. Um, so for me, single shadows or the uh, Jordana Tisha eyeshadow palette is literally like, for mattes, all that you need. So I'm gonna go in with the shade from ColourPop called Archer as my crease color. 
fluffy brush again just going to go over where we place the cream bronzer just to like redefine and warm it back up because the powder kind of like neutralized it slightly just like so and then i'm going to go in with the bronzer that i'm going to use on my face the powder bronzer this is the fenty sunstalker bronzer in island ting on like a slightly pre more precise fluffy brush just kind of focus out on the mainly the outer portion of the eye but take it all the way in here like so and then in terms of like the lid color do whatever you want but again to keep it cohesive i'm just going to go in with the under eye face powder that i would use this is the charlotte tilbury in the shade one essentially it's just like a giant cream eyeshadow isn't it so I'm just going to place this where we carved it out And then just go back in with no additional product as such, just the brushes. So it looks like that. And then you could do like a liquid line if that's what you like. I'm just kind of into more of a smoky wing and I find that they're just so much easier to do anyway. So from the Jordana Tisha palette, the color I like to use for my wing is Celine. It's this warm brown here. And an angle brush like this is gonna be your best friend because you can essentially just map it out. So I just like to go a couple of lines there to get that initial shape, bring it back in. And then just like tap like three quarters of the way across. But I feel like wings are very specific to the person. Like that's as much as I like to do. And then with just like a little pencil shader brush, the next shade up, which is Crescent in this palette. Whoa. Just take that and just slightly smoke it out and like diffuse it. Literally like that. And then my favorite part, clean it up with a wipe. Just kind of like up towards the tail of your brow and any other mess like so and i'm just going to curl my lashes put mascara on and my little falsy of choice today is the tatty lashes artiste half lash just to really emphasize that wing if you've gone for a more rounded eye um i always feel like lily lashes like miami lights are really nice um but yeah whatever lash you want to like compliment the eye look that you've done so the eyes like look like this you can see the lash just really compliments them i do feel like this is low-key like a natural eye look if you were actually like going out you could add like glitter now or like something in the waterline like dark to make it like smoky and sexy um but yeah this is just a basic kind of very me eye look that i do and then i might like jazz it up depending on what the event is but now it's time for the skin, which I do feel like is the star of the show. Okay, so slight disclaimer in the sense of I have just basically normal skin. Um, so products do tend to work well on my skin. I don't necessarily have to buy anything specific. I feel like the skincare that you used before, I would tailor that to your skincare if you find that you get really oily. Before doing the eyes is when I would use maybe more of like a mattifying moisturizer or something like that um 
I do, however, really like hydrating products on my skin. I wouldn't say my skin is dry. I just really like the feel of hydrating products. Um, and this is literally my go-to primer. And this, on top of the serums that I use, I just find has have been so good. So this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's hydrating, but it's literally like an adhesive. So I'm just going to go in with like a pump or so of that. Again, I use like a brush to just disperse that all over my skin. And I was thinking as well, like when it comes to foundation, I absolutely have like a few favorites. And it always just like depends on, I don't know, like the vibe. I always make my, my own little cocktails of foundation as well because there'll be certain elements from each foundation that I really like, whether it's like the colour or the finish or if I want like one to do something to the other, if that makes sense. So I feel like one that I have been reaching for, because like I said, I am sort of gearing this to more like going out glam, oldie but a goodie and i use it very sparingly is the estee lordy estee lordy estee lauder double wear in cashew a little bit of this i just really like the color of this and obviously full coverage and i mix in a bit of the easy drop blurring skin tint in the shade 13 because i i feel like this helps sheer out this and this is a slightly warmer color so when i'm tanned it kind of warms it up, but I get the coverage from this. And like that, I just like these two together, okay? And I know they're completely like opposites, but I really should get a pump. Like I just use like that much double wear. And you can see it's a really nice like neutral shade. So that's Cashew. And then this is in the shade 13. You can see that's got like a little bit more color to it. Now, Two tools that I think are the best. The Doll Beauty Foundation Brush. It's not just a TikTok hype. It genuinely is amazing. I, like, use this and really, like, mix it together and pack it on my skin. Just to kind of get the most out of it. Like, that's what it looks like mixed together. Now, even though that feels, like, super comfortable on the face, I do like to go in with a sponge. And how satisfying is this? It's a brand new one. She literally just sent me um, some new ones in the post. This is the best sponge. It's the Coco Cosmetics Marshmallow Sponge. Again, it's not just a TikTok hype, this genuinely is just like the best sponge. And I like to go in with this and just make sure, well, number one, it's damp. But two, it just makes sure that that double wear foundation is really just looking its most natural on my skin. Because don't play with that foundation it is very full coverage but the way that we've done it mixing it with the skin tint and then applying with a sp brush and going in with a sponge it's giving more natural vibes oh my god why is the sun doing this to me now i was really enjoying the natural sunlight and now it's disappeared excellent anyway now i feel like i even i used to do this is go in with concealer now but i now just do my cream contour first so the same cream contour that we use on the eyes. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Whoa. In warm. Caramel. I have been really loving the Pink Honey Face Frostings, but I understand that they're always out of stock, so I kind of wanted to use something that I feel like is most likely going to be in stock. And this is my favourite brush, which I never thought to use for cream contour. 
But then I saw, oh, here comes the sun. Ariel using it for cream contour. It is part of his Morphe set. A lot of my brushes I use are from that. Um, and it's... I don't know, it's more the like flat sort of buffing brush, I want to go ahead and say. But a clean Doll Beauty foundation brush would do the exact same. And I just like press it in. And I've been really loving doing cream contour first because then I feel like when you go in with the concealer, it just kind of like makes it look a little bit more natural. So like I kind of go quite, not like necessarily like heavy handed, but I feel like you can afford to like apply maybe like too much by accident because the concealer is going to help really like neutralize it. I'm just really like pressing that into the skin. Like I feel like on that side I've like done kind of a lot. Go in with the foundation brush, tidy it up. And just really like sharpen up the edges like so. And now for concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use two concealers. One is just more of the like, it's bright, but like, I'm going to go in with something to help brighten it. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Almond, I think. Yep. I'm just going to place that there and there. Can the sun come back? Please. And then forehead's got like a little butt on it. And then like a couple lines on the chin. I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just use that to go right up and drag down on the wings. Make sure they're looking all tidy. La 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 la. Again, another Coco Chloe, Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Sponge. And this is in the other shape to just blend that out. The tapered end is so good for getting like up underneath the eye. And then I almost use its butt to just like soften it out. So I really like alternate between each end. Like so. Honestly, I feel like getting the right tools makes such a difference in the way that your makeup is gonna look and apply. Mm, sun, come back. Wow. Um, so that's like one half blended out. I'm just going to blend out the other side. But I just zoom you in a little bit. So that's what that looks like. Blended out. If that's bright enough for you, you could leave it there. I'm just going to do a teeny weeny dab of HNB in the shade 1W. Just... And also I might blend this out with a brush just so I get precise placement. This is like from Real Techniques. It's almost like a mini version of the doll brush. You can see it didn't like do too, too much. But I just, I love it. Just a little bit. Totally optional. Like so. And now for cream blush, I have a few faves, I can't lie. I absolutely love the Doll Beauty ones. This is in the shade Let's Get Wavy. It's like the pinky one. I love all of the Made by Mitchell blushes, but my like go-to one, which Controversial, I know, because I feel like her brand is low-key on the flop. And if I get wind that Kylie Cosmetics is going to shut down, which I feel like maybe in the next year it might, you know, um, I will be bulk ordering this because I love it so much. I know a lot of her products like aren't so good, but don't sleep on this. This is the Lip and Cheek Glow Balm in Pink Me Up. 
obsessed with this especially if you're like a clean girl makeup girly this is so nice and i take the made by mitchell brush like this this also works amazing like once you've like put powders on your skin as well i love the like balmy finish of it like i just love it Like, I, I love this product, okay? So, mate, I just love, I just love it, Mick. I love it. Right, and now it is time for powder. And oh, I feel like this has been out of stock everywhere as well, but I feel like there are dupes everywhere, okay? Essentially, it's like a pink-toned loose powder, and this is the um, Huda Cherry Blossom pound cake and a puff trig well puffs whatever this one's actually from hj lashes and i really like it because it's small and it looks like it needs a wash but i really like it because it's small but i'm only going to take the pink powder underneath my eyes like where we put the concealer pressing that on like that Kind of like focusing most of the product like on the innermost part because that's what I feel like you want to be the brightest. And I'm just gonna like diffuse the edges of that. <laughs> it looks so funny right now. And then I really love this powder, which is again what we use to set the eyes with. I also like the Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder in shade two, but this one's the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur. And I just take like a big powder brush because I do I don't like my skin to feel like super super set with powders like I just take a big brush and like just brush this everywhere but like I said at the beginning I have a fairly normal skin type so I don't need to like bake my whole face in order for my makeup to last you know and if you find that you do, you do that, okay? We do have a product later on that's gonna save our skin from looking super powdery. But yeah, I just like to take the Laura Mercier, the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur. Just buff that everywhere else. And then I'm just gonna brush that cherry blossom away. You can see that like where we bought the creams down kind of like lightly contoured our nose. Okay, we're all set in place. I'm sure you guys, if you've watched my makeup videos, can guess the rest of this routine. So, Benefit Hula. Doll Beauty brush. Whatever your skin tone is, just like to contour. Again, keep it cohesive. The bronzer. But because we've just contoured, I really just go in pretty sparingly with this. I use basically like all Doll Beauty brushes on my face. Just kind of tap and tap like it's more of a dusting. Now, I, I say this in every video and I'm going to keep saying it until people like understand how much of a difference this makes on your face. I don't know if my Revolution one is still available. If it is, I will link it down below because I do feel like it's the best. But a shimmery bronzer at this stage in your makeup routine, I almost like, I would pick this over a matte bronzer. I would do contour and shimmer bronzer, okay? That middleman bronzer was almost just, yeah, a middleman, middle step, not always necessary. Shimmery bronzer is just gonna add such a like pizzazz under your makeup that you don't even like realize it's giving botox okay like it honestly is what i think makes the biggest difference on my face that people are like oh my god love your makeup i'm like i think it's the shimmery bronzer like because i don't necessarily like to really really like highlight my skin anymore I say that, but I'm gonna go in with a cream highlighter. 
But honestly, like, just douse me in shimmery bronzer. Don't sleep on it. Give it a try and tell me that it doesn't, like, literally elevate your makeup. And the formula of my one doesn't really allow you to apply too much. Like, it's beautiful. Anyway, blush. I can't believe I, like, never used to be a blush girly. Literally, like, never used to really fuck with it. I don't know why. I've got a few favourite blushes. Again, another one from Colourpop that I picked up. Hello, it's blue tone pink and it's sparkly and it's got Lizzie McGuire on the front of it, okay? Let's use this one. It is the Colourpop Delish Pressed Powder. I'm guessing it was a Lizzie McGuire collab. Bluey, tony pink with the sparkle. And again, this Morphe brush, I love it. Very subtle, kind of like... I feel like the camera's like not picking it up as much, but it, it do be there. And you can like take this in. This brush is really good to just kind of like softly diffuse it. I feel like that looks beautiful. But another one that I really like that again, don't sleep on, is from Pretty Little Thing, their own makeup brand, I know. Shock, blue tone pink. It's called 03 Color Changing. Oh, hello, sun. The sun was a paid actor just then, I can't lie. Um, and another sort of way to elevate your makeup as well, and I feel like it's a holiday must-have, are the Doll Beauty Glow Getters. And I like to take like a peachy one of this. I know it's gonna go against the like blue tone vibes, whatever. But I don't really know if this like Adds a huge amount of colour. But I just do it anyway. And I'm obsessed. Any like blending bits, I go in with like my sponge, nothing on it, just working it into the skin almost. Now, here we go. This is how we're gonna transform it into sort of like going from like highlighty to more just like glass looking skin vibes pretty sure this was like a glass skin bundle once upon a time the made by mitchell blush lights okay i asked for the sun but fucking hell Woo, it's blind to me um blush lights in champagne spray and candy trip okay i actually just ordered two fresh ones i feel like i want to use today because there's nothing better than a fresh something but before we go in with that i am gonna i am actually gonna pre-mix on my hand so i'm like ready to go okay just take champagne spray and a cat hair <laughs> like a couple of swigs swigs swirls whatever of that I like to do like a couple candy trips But like the pink just adds a little bit more of a like natural color vibe to it. This, last time I checked and I linked it down below, was in stock and it, I've put so many people onto this spray. Do not sleep on it. If you like a lot of powders as well, this is really just gonna make your, your skin look like natural again. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, which I really feel like is the key ingredient here. Suitable for oily skin, can't go wrong. So I'm gonna douse myself in this, give it a couple of seconds, and while it's drying, I'm gonna take the Mini Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Sponge, which is perfect for just applying highlighters to the cheeks, okay? So this is my skin before. If you like it like this, leave it like this, but I just feel like this is what transforms it and is why I get compliments on my skin. And it's such a soft mist as well. I feel like you can just like watch in action like what it's gonna do to my skin. Anyway, so while that's soaking in, little sponge. Boom. Little 
little bit up here. little like down the nose I'm obsessed and that is my skin finished I do like to go in with a setting spray at the end but yeah in terms of skin the spray has just allowed my skin to like look like skin I just look radiant, like I can't explain it. And I'm not going to, I'm just gonna let you see. Like the sun's really sunning right now, so you can really see. Like we went in with a lot of product. I don't really think it looks like I'm wearing a lot of product and I'm like looking at myself in the mirror. And if you think that's like a little bit too shiny, just take a precise brush, go back into areas that you maybe like, like to keep more matte, like maybe like down the middle of your face. I just, I don't know, the people seem to love it, I love it, um, right, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, and I'm really annoyed, it hasn't arrived in time, I would normally use, I mean, I feel like brows are so specific, but if you've got like red hair like me, I'm just going to give you a few options right now, the Wonder Whip pencil in Cinnamon Bun is a, ow, is a go-to, I love it, but mine's literally like at its wit's end, I've got three coming in the post, um, but I have just received... Um, one from Co Cosas in Auburn and one in Anastasia Beverly Hills Strawburn. I just ordered this one and got this one in PR today um, by chance. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows with that, but I'm not going to show them on camera because I've never used these products before. So I don't know. I've used a brow with before, obviously, but in terms of the shade, um, I don't know if it's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I also love to use the NYX brow pen in Auburn, but that's kind of like afterwards to go in with just like strokes because that Auburn pen is actually like really quite red. Um, so it just brings out those tones in my hair. Brows are so specific. So this is just where you would do your brows. Okay. Not my best brow day, but we went for the Kosas. Kosas? Kosas. Kosas brow pop in Auburn with a little bit of NYX brow pen running through it. Right, now it's time for a lip. I feel like I'm gonna go old school today and I'm gonna go ahead and use MAC cork because why not? I love more of a like, brown pencil and then I just feather it in sometimes I like going with a brush and also I watch like Holly Flynn's TikToks where she uses a brush and it just looks cool keep everything looking Blended and soft. And speaking of Holly Flynn's TikTok, she did this nude lip combo. I maybe use a different gloss, but I didn't know that Mitchell did blur shades like this color. This is in Peony Passion. And it's just like a very, very like pale nude pink. See? But. Once I kind of got that all over and we look like this, mate. Go back in with the brush. And in English, that was go back in with the brush. It's giving like Mac Myth. And oh, gonna go back in with the pencil. Like so, I don't know, that looks really scary. But I know there are some people out there that love a milky nude lip. So you need to get on the peony passion hype with that. But for gloss, I feel like it's an oldie but a goodie and it just kind of like brings this back to life. Fenty Fussy, it's like pink, glossy. 
goodness. Ah! And literally, that is my favorite nude lip combination at the moment. I just think that that looks gorgeous. And now just to set everything in place, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish. Airbrush finish? <laughs> airbrush finish setting spray. It smells so good, this stuff. And this is the finish glam. The natural light's kind of disappearing. So I've just put my other lights back on. But hopefully you got the full gist of the makeup and can really just see. I don't know. Everyone seems to love it. And also, like I said, you can go back in with that gel Kylie blush on the top, which sometimes I like to do to just add a little bit of pizzazz. But yes, I feel like this was much less chaotic. Hopefully included some important steps, tools, tips in order to achieve this type of makeup, understand this isn't everyone's ideal style of makeup. But like I said, a lot of you guys have complimented me on it. I get a lot of compliments in person from people. I am just super, super happy with it. I feel like it lasts on me and it, it just has never let me down. And I think it looks beautiful in pictures. I don't think it looks too much. Um, I really just love this makeup. So I'm glad I just found the time to like sit down and thoroughly talk you guys through it without it being chaotic and me rushing off somewhere and like I said educating and just like talking about makeup is honestly one of my favorite things to do and it's kind of like the foundation of my my channel essentially so yeah I really hope you guys loved it maybe some new products that you want to try I've left everything linked down below if that's the case if you like these more like in-depth tutorials let me know um, because I feel like this wasn't, like, a get ready with me. This was a full tutorial. I've not done one of those in what feels like a hot minute. But yeah, I'm all glam to do nothing. But it was worth it to sit down. And now I can link you guys back to this video if I ever am in a chaotic rush. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.